Yeah. 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 This is going to be good. That's going to be a good piece of ash. Holy. All you have to do is just, you know, like hit it little, just like that. Boy, this is really soft. Look at that. That's the box. Yeah. That's all you have to do, Shy. Just keep on going like yeah, you yeah. lay it like. Yeah, make sure when you when it hits you start like hitting like that. Okay. Yeah, always overlap. Okay. Should I have my and foot on it? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. We should have put a notch on that tree, but that's there you go. He's got one strip pretty well done. So what we'll do is we'll try to strip it and see if it'll work out all right. He's trying to loosen each fiber or, well, we know, each layer of a tree. That way when we pull it apart, we usually strip it like two inches, I would say, and then bring it right off the tree. Silver bowl. I hear that nice sound. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. I never hear that for years. I can remember waking up to that sound. Oh, oh. Okay, I was just thinking about when you when we lived in Naples yeah. and you kids uh, joined the uh, Girl Scouts. <laughs> and they volunteered me to make some baskets. That's when the girls, I think, actually got interested in baskets because it gave them a chance to show their friends what they can do and what I can do with baskets. Well, you ought to have Donald go and check on those ones in the woods that Adam well, he's, He said, hi. Well, he said he's got... Uh, about 50, but they're little, and in 10 years they'll be big enough, so hopefully that nobody will cut them. I remember my grandmother telling me that she used to work days from one, you know, many, many days before my grandfather would fill up a big burlap bag to hitchhike to either to Callis or to Bangor to peddle the baskets. And once, uh, and once they got, he sells every one of them. That's when he starts walking back again to bring home money to my grandmother so they can uh, buy food and whatever else that is needed for the house. Yeah, I got it. No, no. Yeah. Check up on the kids for me, would you please, T? Come on. I remember when I lived at Pleasant Point, uh, right next to Francis, you know, we had a little house there, and uh, we'd start off Monday morning. Well, we always have, you know, ash on hand. So we'd sit down and start making baskets. Old Mitch Francis used to cut up the standards, you know, which was like these. And then somebody else would start making the bottoms, and I'd weave all of the hundred baskets we make every day, every week. A hundred baskets? A hundred baskets. No, but I think even your, your father, no, your grandfather, didn't he used to make baskets? Yeah, yeah he, he used, used to be here, so they come here with the gifts. Yeah. Bonds, yeah. And he used to get some ash, yeah. 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 No, but uh, I remember years ago when it seems as if the women was the head of the household instead of the men. Because it was the women that worked, you know, that did the basketry, and it was women that also seek other, you know, other things to do on the outside. 
and uh, I know one thing too like they were saying that you know in in some of the other tribes along with ours that they have the elders the w women as elders and everybody listens to what they have to say now they're the ones that t would that would tell you what to do yeah I can remember grow, um, growing up and it was the, the mothers and the grandmothers who decided how everyone was going to vote in the family. And even, you know, we have a majority of tribal council members are, are male. We only have two females on the tribal council. Um, you know, but I can guarantee you that if there is a decision that one of the tribal council members make that his wife or significant other makes, I'm sure he hears about it. I mean, you look at even in our employment society, most of the women are the ones that are out there. Um, within tribal government and they're making the decisions and making the programs work. Because women are strong here. Yeah, we're strong women. Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to stress to my girls. For many years I says, you know, you always make sure that you take care of your children and you do what has to be done. Never rely on anybody else. It isn't as if they do a better job, but from, from way back, a woman, a woman has more responsibility than a, than a man, I feel. So th what they do is... Uh, more global in their thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think they do have more global in their thinking. You want to make basket when you're a little bigger? Oh, yeah. Grandma will help you. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got one more red one to do. Let me see, honey. <laughs> Oh, I oh, think you've pretty. had enough, honey. That's pretty You've got to put a couple yeah. of whites, about two, yeah, three inches. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. I see what you're saying. No, one more red. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is, this will, she'll finish like this, Molly? Like this? Oh, she put that yeah. grass? Yeah. Yeah. This that's is how all. she'll do it. Yeah. yeah. So that's all set to put the uh, sweet rice yeah. in, Liz. Yeah.